Now, what might this be? It's a piranha tooth bar from Be Expanded. This is nice. They've got the uh, hardware wrapped. The bolts to hold it on. Right there. Very nice. And the instructions. I'm assuming those are the instructions. It includes the installation instructions and the owner's information. Here's how the ordering process works. I went to BeExpanded.com and clicked on the Piranha Tooth Bar. The price is based on the length of the tooth bar your bucket will need, which is determined by the inside width of the bucket to the nearest quarter inch. Further down the page they have a link to detailed instructions on how to measure your bucket width. My bucket's inside width measured 64 and a quarter inches, which happens to be one of the choices in the drop-down list. Once the length is selected, the price is calculated. So the price is 309, plus no sales tax since I'm out of state. Shipping was 3386, bringing the total to $342.86. Their lead time is four to six weeks. I received mine in four weeks. If you don't have a step drill bit for drilling holes in the side of your bucket, you can add one to your order by clicking yes here. Since I have several step drill bits, I didn't order one. Finally, if there are any special instructions about your bucket, such as worn cutting edges or a bolt on cutting edge, add a note here. If they need more information or a picture of your bucket, Be Expanded will contact you before making your tooth bar. One reassuring touch is that they stamp the length of the tooth bar into the bar itself. Along with the installation instructions, the tools you'll need include a Sharpie marker or a pencil, which is what I prefer, a center punch or a three quarter inch transfer punch if you have one, a hammer, a step drill bit that drills up to a three quarter inch hole, a drill with a three sixteenths inch bit for the pilot holes, a couple of C-clamps, a dead blow hammer, a 15 16 inch wrench, and an impact wrench with a 15 16 inch socket. In fact, the loader bucket is the most convenient place to put your tools. By the way, they recommend you have the bucket about 10 inches off the ground for installation. So the Piranha Tooth Bar weighs a little over 50 pounds. And it's got sharp edges, so I recommend you wear gloves when you're handling it, putting it on. Nice. It needs to be centered up as much as possible. When the tooth bar is centered, it's normal to have a small gap between the mounting ears on the sides of the bucket. Once the toolbar is in position, I give it some firm taps with a dead blow hammer to make sure it is fully seated on the bucket's cutting edge. Next, I use two clamps to clamp the tooth bar into position. The clamps must pull the bar firmly against the bottom of the bucket's cutting edge. Then I use a pencil to mark the outline of the elongated holes on the inside of the bucket. Here's where I cheat a little bit by using the transfer punch positioned an eighth of an inch from the end of the elongated hole to mark where the hole will be. Don't worry, if you don't have a set of transfer punches, I'll show you how to do it with a regular punch per the instructions. I take the clamps off and set the tooth bar on the floor for now. If you don't have a transfer punch set, then you need to cut out the included adhesive back circles. 
Unfortunately, I found out you have to cut the circles out with scissors, so that gets added to the tool list. Place the circle about an eighth of an inch from the rear of the marked elongated hole. Then use a center punch placed on the crosshairs and hammer to mark where the hole will be. If you're wondering why they have elongated holes on the mounting ears, it's to allow for the wear of the bucket's cutting edge when the tooth bar is not in use, which is pretty clever in my opinion. Using the 3 16 inch bit, I drill the first pilot hole. I know it looks like I'm about to drill into my leg, but I assure you that I won't. Then the other pilot hole. Again, no lost time injuries. Next, I use the step drill bit to enlarge the hole. Oops, I should have used a corded drill. This eats up the batteries of a cordless drill. I repeat for the other side. Okay, let's see how well I drilled those holes and how well it fits. That hurt. I take a bolt with a washer on it and insert it into the hole from the outside of the bucket. Then I put another washer on the inside, followed by a lock washer than a nut. I wish the bolts were slightly longer because it was a challenge getting the nut started. In fact, I had to clamp the other side to get the nut started. Once I finally got the nut started, I tightened it up with the impact wrench and repeat it for the other side. All right, I think this thing is ready for some field testing. I decided to start by seeing how well the tooth bar can clear brush and saplings down near the creek. The creek runs along here, and this is the area where I want to clear out the underbrush and smaller trees. That's what I'm talking about. Those teeth easily cut the roots of the brush and I can push them over and out of the way.
This is going to be a game changer. So for clearing brush, the tooth bar is great and passes the test. Let's see how easily I can take down this skinny but tall tree. Look at how the tooth bar cuts into the ground and through the roots with ease. Nothing to it. Now to push it away. Here's the bucket cam view. One other perspective. So the Piranha Tooth Bar also excels at downing small trees. Awesome. Next up, let's do a digging test. I'm going to move a pile of dirt near the little pond at the bottom of our driveway. This pile of dirt has been here for over a year and is well settled. At last, I can finally dig very effectively with my loader. So the Piranha Tooth Bar passes the test with flying colors. But what really surprised me was how much the Piranha Tooth Bar improves back dragging. The teeth break up the soil while back dragging much like the way they do while digging. So it takes fewer passes to smooth the ground keeping the loader in float mode. So the Piranha Tooth Bar also greatly improves backtracking effectiveness. So not only does it improve digging tremendously, it also, to my surprise, improves backdragging tremendously. Before, when I would backdrag, if I just put it in float and angled my bucket down to drag it back, most of the time the bucket would just ride over whatever hump I was trying to smooth out with no problem at all, and it would force me to have to put it in non-float and let the weight of the tractor uh, pull it back out. Well, that, of course, puts a lot of wear on your uh, bucket as well. With this tooth bar on there, then just the weight of the bucket is usually enough to back drag and surprisingly well. So a few passes with this, it does a great job. So that was an unexpected surprise. 
Also, as you saw, it was great at clearing brush. I could just set the bucket near to the ground and push through and it would pull them out of the ground with ease and push them out of the way. And if I wanted to take down a small sapling, just take the bucket, angle it down in front of the roots, dig in a little bit, pick up, and then just push the tree over. And as you saw, it just literally fell over roots and all, and I could push it out of the way and then cut it up. So that's fantastic. Wish I had gotten one of these a long time ago. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click that like button, leave a comment, and by all means, please subscribe. And if you want to know when I post new videos, click that little bell. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.